Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with Marguerite Miller's Collage Challenge. It is week 38 and then um, I have all of my all of my journals that I finished at the retreat. Um, they all need a little finishing touch and I just thought we'd do that for the rest of the video and then I can then I can get them on their ways to their new homes. So uh, let's say hi and hugs to Denise, Peggy, Susan, and Lucretia. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, this week we have something you look through. So I, I found this picture of all these windows. For that fabric scrap just grab something that kind of went with the picture a postage stamp I have my whole book here because I think I will I'll find something once we get the rest of it put together something drawn or written in pencil I have this picture of a girl that I that I drew many moons ago piece of jewelry I've got some shiny bits here oh I just thought could we we maybe could hmm okay well we'll think about that uh and then a piece of lined paper or graph paper so i have some graph paper there so we're once again creating on the back of, of one of these sheets of kind of watercolor paper so I think first thing I'm going to do is um, tear down, tear down this so that it's got, this was washi tape that was on there, but it copied kind of cool. It was in my art journal. So that's why I just went ahead and um, made a copy rather than it being the original, but it was done in pencil. So there is that. So, I don't know. She's about going to take up this whole thing all on her own. So, okay. So, there's that. I think I might be able to use those somehow. Okay. Like, if I were to put her way up in the corner, like so. Hmm. I have kind of a thought of perhaps making the graph paper her dress. <laughs> I don't know. How difficult would that be? Can I? Oh, I can't trace it because I can't see it. But. But I think she kind of has to. Has to take center stage. So what I'm going to do is go like this. Might make her a new dress. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go right about there. Yeah, it's kind of. I don't know. Kind of a silly thing, probably, but it seems like it might work. Maybe. I didn't really plan to have everything go around this lady, but in the end it kind of is. So. I don't know. Let's see, little lady, if we can kind of do this. kind of hope that hope that it's similar well let's just see what we did oh my gosh I do kind of love the Marguerite Miller challenge for this reason it doesn't make you do things you'd never ever think about doing so there is that I don't know. Let's 
see how he did. <laughs> well, it kind of it kind of covers it up. Oh, I like it. I think I like it better there. Okay, this little business there, we'll just cover that up with some stamps or something. Okay, I'm going to just do this because so that it doesn't blend right into the background. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All righty then. Then we'll get... on there. Okay. Ish. <laughs> it's on there ish. I'm not going to worry too much because I think we're going to put this on here as her as her necklace. So I think I want to get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> Who knows what we're going to end up with. We're just kind of going with it here. Just gonna leave that there okay and then just for extra blingage <laughs> we'll put this on there okay there you go girlfriend you're all, all sorts of blinged up okay so then the windows what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to try and get this middle middle floor of windows. I'll put this back in the box for if we need something similar later. And so if we put that on there, and we put that there. Yep, that looks like right about here. If I tear right about here. All right. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting down what Marguerite told me to get down here. All right. I think I'll just. That could be a good journal card in another life. So I'll put that like that. All right. And let's just get you put down. All right, Blech. sticky, sticky. Okay, okay, there you go, little girl. There you go, there. Okay, now I do think I'm just going to put this down at the bottom of the page, kind of just center that. And I was thinking of the fabric. If it was a page, I do like down the edge of a page. But since it's not, I think I might just do some little snippets, kind of like almost like washi tape. So I 
need to cut that off. That's the salvage. Throw that in my scraps. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna put some of these around. Yeah, I don't feel like I can do a um, I don't feel like I can do a ruffle because this has to go into a pocket. Oops. Okay, and maybe... Maybe one more right there. Okay. Fabric scraps. Now all I need left is a post is postage stamp. So what are we gonna do with the postage stamp? Here's a big one that's the similar color. Kind of like that there. Do we want any others? Okay, get over to my blue here. Um, this one. And that's just going over that pencil mark. She doesn't look like she has arms, so. Okay. That and maybe um, a small pink one is what I was thinking. I don't know where my pinks are. I have a pink. I was thinking a little pink, yeah, like to don't know if I like that that's all kind of in one spot, you know. I'm going to go with that. Okay, I'll get rid of my stamps. All right, I'm going to put you down and call, call this a collage. Didn't really mean to make the little girl the focal point her size, though. I made that happen. Okay. Well, there we go. This here's kind of bugging me, but I wonder if I could I could just put a little bit of pink washi right there and then that would kind of bring your eye around. Let's see. This is very old washi. I don't know how it's going to be. Seems like it's doing okay.
There, I like that better. That edge of that paper was bugging me. Okay, now we're done. Alrighty then. There she is in all her glory. Oh, shoot. Oh, dear. Right? What do I do with this? Hmm. Well, I might have to just put it on with a paper clip because I didn't leave a space for it. But where would it have gone? I'll rip it down and then we'll just go ahead and... Call that done, but... And then I'll just clip this right here for while it's in the um, while it's living in my book. I won't mess up anything over there, will I? Okay, but there it is. That's this times. Something you look through window, fabric scraps, postage stamps, something drawn piece of jewelry, and some graph paper. Ta-da. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that is done for this week. I'm just going to set these over with it. Okay. Now, let's get to figuring out these, these journals. Okay. I'm just going to start at the top. This one needs its um, needs its ribbons. Doesn't seem like I was missing anything anywhere. So I actually think I'm just gonna cut this in half. And we'll just, it's already got its eyelets and everything. I just didn't have any of the crinkled seam binding with me at the retreat, so. That was, that was its unfinished thing. Okay. Okay, there we go there. It's all signed and everything. It's all ready to go. So I did a, I did an earlier video on where I flipped through these. So if you didn't see that, you can go back. It's under my retreats playlist. So that's probably the easiest way to find it. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, duh. Okay. I'm going to just set these aside as we get them, get them done. Okay. This one I want to put, um, I want to put the uh, corners on and I punch through the pages. So I need to fix that which I thought that might be a good thing to do on camera in case you do the same dumb thing that I do. <laughs> oh, I probably was busy blabbing. Okay, I know what we're going to do with this. So in my decorative washi, I have washies from chapter one, and one of them is is this same pattern let's see here it is this so i think i will i think i'm gonna go that way on this one So it's um it's on Velcro, so ah or I mean uh label, so but it does cover it up. Okay, good. So I'll just put that on each side 
and that will be fine. With that one. But I don't want to have the same exact thing on every one of these pages, so we'll have to figure that out. But I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so then I'm thinking about doing this one. And this one doesn't really show too much on the other side, so I think... I can just go the length of that, okay. And then I'll show you what I'll do on the other side. Fixing mistakes, there you go. That's what we have to do sometimes. Okay, so I am just gonna line this up on the edge. And boom. That's fixed. I have this itty bitty bit here and I'm just going to put it over the hole on the other side just in case taking this journal card in and out causes any issue. I don't want it to cause any issue. So we're just going to go right here with that piece of washi. Now that hole's all covered up. Okay, cool. All right, so now this front page. Uh, what are we going to do there? Um, I'm thinking about a tab, just a little tab, if I have one that will go with that. Um, where are my tabs? Is this my tabs? Yeah, those are tabs, all right, but they're kind of different ones. Okay, so. There they are. There they are. So, like, something like that. I don't want it to be super obvious, but that will be good, I think. Okay, we'll do that. And then all the holes are fixed. <laughs> Jeez, my own worst enemy sometimes, you know. Okay, so like this. And we'll just pop that right on there. So you're the only ones that know it wasn't supposed to be like that. Okay, um, just making sure there isn't anything else. I didn't think there was with this one, but I want to put corners on it and the Timmy ones. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the copper ones for this one. Me get my needle nose. Oh goodness. Sorry, they were way at the bottom. Okay, so let's do this thing. We'll do this with Fabri Tac. Oh. My, uh, my glues jostled around as I was, you know, packing things and, um, and then driving and everything. And so they're kind of, they could use a little cleanup, I feel like. Okay, can you see me? Okay. Not that you haven't seen me do this about a gazillion times, but... And again, there's always new folk. Ugh. At least one hopes that there's always new folk. So then I go outside to inside is how I squish them. That's my squishing procedure. Sorry, I think I'm off camera here squishing, but 
sometimes it's kind of awkward to do things on camera, you know. But um, and this one, I don't think it needed anything but the corners. And these just make it a lot tougher, you know. Just make it so it's good and sturdy. Okay, so outside to inside, outside to inside. There we go. So that's nice. I like those on there. Okay, good, good. Now the back and kind of try and let's see I think I'll do like that with the, the threads I like the threads but I don't want them sticking out weirdly because of the corner Outside, inside, outside, inside. Okay, cool. Gosh, it feels great to. This has just kind of been hanging over my head, as you may know from last video, because I kept saying, I have such a mess. I have so many unfinished things. <laughs> it's bugging me. So, in an effort not to make you listen to that anymore, we're just going to get her done. Oops. That one's, that one's being slidey. Probably because I'm trying to do this on camera, and so I'm absolutely awkward with it. Okay, I think that's it in this one, too. I think it is. I think it is. Cool. I don't know. I'm feeling like I might like... I've got this tag here. Would I? Yes, I would like that. Okay, let's just do this the super quick way. I'm just going to put a little tabby on the top. Um, this was part of the digital ephemera that I backed with coffee dyed paper just to give it a little more, a little more something. How about we just do a little... Something like that. And I will grab my Timmy stapler. Maybe I will. It's at the bottom now, too. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, I like that in there, too. Okay. Cool. I think that one's done. We're just going to set it aside, let those corners dry. All righty then. And then this one, I also want to do corners on, but it needs something else too right here. Oh, it needs magnets. Right, right. Okay. Well, which to do first? I think I'm going to set my... I'm bubbling out a little bit there. Okay, so let's do the magnets on that. And then we'll be able to get rid of this little strip of paper here. Right, I wanted to put a magnet right there. So I'm just going to grab a couple here. Oh, yeah. And I have told you in other videos about these magnets but they're just from Amazon and they're 100 pieces 10 by 1 millimeter, millimeter thick and then it says magnet 101 millimeter so 
anyway, they're great. They're a good, 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 good size for what we do. Okay, I'm going to put glue on both sides. Tricky as that may be. And it's going to show, but I don't, I don't really care about that. Okay, we're sliding around a little. I'd like you in the middle, though. There we go. We'll just give that a second. Art glitter glue does dry pretty quick. So, meanwhile, I think we can work on the back. I'm going to use this last set here. And this will become a tag at some point. So, alrighty then. Let's, let's do this thing. So funny, I'm already feeling better about life in general with having a few of these things done up just just kind of needed to get a few things off my desk it was driving me bonkers Sorry guys, I know I may be off camera, but I'm just going to try and do these, do a good job on these rather than make sure I'm on camera. <laughs> Priorities, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I need it, to, need it to go on properly and not be sliding around. My thumb will be hating on me for doing these, but, um, you know, we sacrifice for our art, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So hopefully our little magnet is doing well under there. Oh, and I kind of wanted to put some things in the pockets, too, on this one. Forgot about that. That's okay. We'll see what we can find in the old autumn bucket here. So many things in my autumn bucket. I'll get those things um, put over in the area I have them in my craft room because since I did five autumn journals, I'm going to call that good for this season. And then I will be chomping at the bit to get to it next year again. I really do enjoy them. They're fun. And it's kind of perfect to do them at my friend Diane's September retreat. It's like, because then you just are, you know, you're grabbing less options in terms of what you're going to work with. It's mostly autumn colors and stuff so okay so now we have corners on that one that's good so we just need some stuff to put in there now let me kind of look here this is my bundle of fall stuff. So much, so much here. That's pretty. That would be nice in there. I'm going to back that. And then, well, we'll do that and then we'll figure out what else. I have to take off my sweater. Working hard here. Okay, so let me get a piece of cardstock under my table. Looks like I need to restock on cardstock. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, I'm done with this for the moment. Depending on how much time we have. Oh, we're doing good. 
but I don't know if I'll get much more than these. I have some other journal covers that I thought if we got all this done, we could finish those up, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm just going to do this down here so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not even, I don't even know where this, um, this particular digital came from, but it's pretty. Looks like it could be a uh, um, Artie Mays, perhaps, or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do this in a straight line so that I can use that for stamping something. And then I'm going to take, take my little scissors to go around the bottom. And as soon as I get these done and can get them photographed and stuff, I'll just be randomly listing them in Etsy. My little Etsy is cinnamon tea. I got a thing today that I had to say what my legal name was or they wouldn't pay me. How's that? <laughs> it's like... Well, that's not cool. <laughs> oh, I think because um, they had cinnamon tea and then they had Gail Augustinelli. And I think they, I don't know, need a clarification of what my name is on my bank account. Well, it's Gail Augustinelli, but it also has cinnamon toast on it because that's the, my business name using that term loosely <laughs> okay so we'll have this then I think in the back pocket what I'm going to do is put some extras from the digital that's what I think I'll do there so I'll put this in here I kind of like that too. It makes that front cover all the more strong. Let's see how our, how's our little doomahickey doing? Scared. There we go. Oh, what? It didn't. Well, that's goofy. like the sticker part came off so I'll just glue it again and we'll check that in a minute when it's all dry okay but essentially that one's done okay so what do we got here this one I feel like I feel like this one was done done okay oh here's one Oh, I need something for in the in that sack. Okay. So what do we have here? Sorry guys, I'm digging through my project boxes. Um kinda don't know what happened to I don't know what happened to all of my I, don't, I maybe I didn't have a lot of um, a lot of ephemera pieces left oh, I have this this 
This is just a piece of embossed paper, but I think I'll put that on this card stock and we'll put a tab on it and stuff and we'll put that in there. Okay, let's do that. Now this is gonna dig up my dig out my glue stick. I'm gonna use this kind of glue. All right, there we go. And trim that up. Okay. And then that provides one more spot to journal. Um, did I have, I feel like I had some fall tabs, so we're going to go on the hunt for those. Just a quick way to make a journal card, really. bring that out a little bit more. Okay, now let's see if those are these my tabs. Yes. And I thought I threw in here some fallish ones. Yeah, here's one. That's kind of cute. Okay. The white edge is off. Okay. Okay, I think I might want to round the corners. Whoop. It's probably getting full again. Okay, so yeah, that's a kind of a quick way to make a little journal card, but it's still interesting because it's got all that texture. Okay, so that goes in the stampin'. Didn't even check to see if this was the right width, but happily and luckily it is. So we'll put that in there, perfect. Okay, I do believe this one is ready to rock and roll. So we'll go ahead and tie that back up. All right, that one's good to go. And then this one, I'm not sure what it had going on. If anything, I feel like this one was done. Yeah, yeah, this one is finished, and uh, it doesn't need corners, so we'll just call that done. Okay, now we'll see what else we've got going here. The slow stitch one was done, so it's over on my table all 
done and done. This one's got a couple of little flaps on it. So let's see what we need to do here. Could use something in the pockets. But again, I can put ephemera in there. Um, okay, it needs a big, a big something there. Um, I really like to put, uh, you know, like index cards and stuff like that in there. There's a big index card. That would be fine. Let's put a tab on that. And that would be good journaling space on both sides. Kind of like that. I'm going to keep that out. Okay. My glue stick just fell over and fell upside down on the glue. Jeez, I'm gonna have to wipe off my table after. Let's see, let's leave all that yumminess at the bottom there. Okay, this goes over there. And that goes in there. That is good, that is good. Then, oh, and then we need something else in there, which, let me look up here in my, in my stuff and things. I love these. Let's put one of these, um, these are old, like, farm machinery parts cards that somebody sent me at one time, and they're really kind of cool and vintage. Let's do that. Just pop that in there. Like that, with the handwriting sticking out. I like that. Okay, so that's that one, except for this front. What would we like to do there? Just looking over here at what I have. I've got a Got a few orange things that could be kind of fun. And then they can stick them wherever they want to in the journal. I'm just, just looking to see if there's anything else. I think that's what I'm going to do there. And then I'll put the extra ephemera in the back. All right. This one's done. I always do that. I always wrap it the wrong way. There we go. It goes this way. Okay, there's that one. All right, then last but not least, we've got a few minutes left. I have this boho one, and it has a few tabs sticking out. Now, what I'm going to be able to find boho-ish to go in here, I don't know. Oh, something in there, okay. Um, wonder if I have... Hmm, I was wondering if I had a journal card. That could go in there. Let's look at our um, pre-made ephemera and just see here. Um, boy, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of journal cards. I've made a bunch lately, but I just want something that's pretty right and will fit in there. Ooh, that will fit. That's nice. Okay, good. Good, good. What do we need back here? Again, something for in there, which would likely be a journal card. This is fun. Super bright. Let's do that. 
Okay. The boho is fun because you can kind of go a little crazy and I I think this one's real fun. All right. Um, let's go with cutting this off and go this way. Into the sack like so and that'll be pretty sticking out I feel like we need a little something down there I think my my boho sack is still in my sack of stuff what about some of this just have to look and see which side is which I think this is the correct side. I put that on there. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just gonna trim up the edges. It's kind of frayed a bit. So we'll just go like that and right there. And then let's put some fabric tacky on there and that just covers up the made in sign on the sack Okay. All right. Well, we did that. So those were the two things for that. I think that was it actually for that one. Okay. So that is done. There we are. Let's see where are we? we have 10 minutes. I wonder if I can, what I can get done on these other journal covers. Let's see. So I have these two journal covers that I made just with collage paper and then I sewed them and Mod Podged them and I'm thinking I would like to put these toppers on there. These toppers are from Triple V Vintage. Okay, well one thing I know and then I want to put... Um, I want to put the Tim Holtz corners on these too. Can I bring those over? Probably not. Oh, nope, they're still over there. Well, we'll get them kind of done. And then I have no immediate plans for these covers, but they will be waiting for me when the perfect digital comes along. So. Yes, that looks nice. I think I want to distress the edges of the paper that is in the back. This paper seems a bit fragile. I may end up going over just those edges with a bit of collage medium or something. Because see, once I get these done, I can then put them in my bookshelf of book covers. And then I'm not so apt to have something happen to them. So, um, yeah, so I'm excited to kind of get these on the road to done. There are other types of corners too, other than Tim Holtz, but I really like the size of his and 
that they hold on really well and everything. So, um, so I prefer them. Okay. Oh, I like that. So I kind of want to take this. I need to open that. Ah, ah. <laughs> it goes falling over. Oh, glue stick, you're bugging me today. I'm going to take this Distress Collage Medium and I'm just going to put a little on this um, on this text so that it doesn't flake off or anything. Maybe I'm going to. Yeah, there we go. Squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. And then we'll just give it a little... Give it a little like that, and I think it's gonna stay, stay put and not tear or flake off or anything. So I feel like we got a lot done. Got our little Marguerite Miller done, and oh, it just feels good to have those journals completely done instead of sitting on my table half done. That's just, I just kind of find that annoying. The other thing about this um, collage medium is it kind of, it activates the ink that we just put on and kind of makes it kind of more antique -y looking. Okay, so that one is done and done. Just needs to dry. Oh, except it needs its it needs its corners. I'll do that off camera though. But I think I am going to do that next because I really want to have these finished finished. And then yeah, and then we'll see. We'll see what these end up covering. <laughs> I have some book pages that are um, are nine by. I don't think I did the inside of that one. Um, are nine by six, and so they it makes the perfect size journal cover. I love that. My husband's restless today. He's been wandering around up there. I feel, I feel kind of restless too. Is it, that a weird thing? Why does that happen? I think some of it has to do with the smoke that we've got going on here from forest fires. This makes you feel kind of closed in and I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll use that paper for something else. And then this is going to go here. And I thought it was perfect with the leaf that was in the collage to begin with. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's just... These things are just meant to be, you know? So, um... I still have my wraparound cover that I don't yet know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but it really only needs to be distressed is what I feel like I have left to do on it because I think it'll be one that probably gets um, a cover based on whatever digitals or papers I use in it. Okay. And you're a little birdie. You just go right there. Perfect. Okay, the only other thing I would want to do there is this little number. I am going to take my Nouveau Crystal Glaze and go over that number and make it sort of like it's in a frame-ish. or under glass, or whatever you would say. 
Okay, there we go. And then that one just needs the corners too. And we are about at time. So, so yeah, I am just, I'm excited about those two. I'll show you the other one is this one it's was made out of a box and it's gonna go actually it's gonna go like this so more to do on that one okay guys well let's see where's marguerite miller she's over here our marguerite miller collage was this one minus the paper <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed and um, I just thank you so much for crafting along with me as always. So have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.